come to this new class in where we are going to see how to include dimensions in our paper document. The first thing that I want you to do is to collapse this SketchUp model tray, collapse as well the pages tray, because in this class we will be working with the layers tray, the shape style tray and the dimension style tray. So the first thing that we are going to do is to add a new layer. As I told you in another class, layers in layout work in a different way than in SketchUp. They work like in a normal software, I mean as Photoshop, InDesign, etc, etc. The layer above is going to cover all the things below, all the layers which are placed below. So here in layout, this pencil which is marking the active layer is very important because if we create a new layer, this layer 3, let's change the name and I will call it dimensions and we want to draw dimensions actually, then we need to place the pencil on this layer, on this specific layer. Remember that in SketchUp I recommended you to not change the position of that pencil in order to draw always inside the untacked layer. Here is different. Once we have created our dimensions layer, then I want you to go over here, over this bar in where we find this tool called dimensions. Let's click on it and then we can already draw in our paper any dimensions. I will scroll in and we can check the format, the style of this dimension. And one tip here, if you want to use dimensions in your drawing, it's much more better to set the dimension style before you draw all the dimensions in your paper. So then if I go over this tray called shape style and I hover over a start arrow, I expand this window and I can change that arrow to, for example, this one in where I have a kind of slash item. I will do the same with this another option and arrow. And then if I go over this another panel text style, I can change the font family and maybe use one that I really like. For example, let's say Calibri light, for example, regular 10 points could be okay. And let's make a Proof. Here we are. Once we are happy, we are ready to add our dimensions. So I will scroll in and look because layout snaps to our SketchUp points. So first click on here, second click and release here. Then I pull up and third click and release here. And I have my dimension already there. I could repeat the same process from here. One click and release, second click and release, and I pull up till here. If I wanted now to continue adding dimensions following this line, then layout helps us a lot because if I just go to this end point of the next dimension and I click twice, click, click, then my dimension go directly at the end of the previous one. The thing now is that we don't have enough space for the text. So in a situation like that, the best option is to use the shortcut space key in order to select the selection tool. Then I can hit this dimension, which actually is a group. Go inside this group by clicking twice, then select just the text and by clicking and drag, I could change easily the position. If I still don't like it, I could hover over the dimension style. Look that I don't have anything available. This is because I am selecting right now just the text, not the group of the dimension. So a space key, I click outside, I select all the dimension group. Then here in the tray, I have the different options available. And I could use, for example, these different options above, and then the text goes directly above to the line, center, below, vertical, horizontal, aligned, and perpendicular. In my opinion, for this dimension, the best option is the first one, above, and of course, not perpendicular, but aligned. Then finally, here we have the option for displaying the units. If I turn it off, we don't have the unit visible anymore and that unit look because they are meters we were working with centimeters 
in our document setup, but here in this tray we have our own units. We can change it easily from here, length decimal or fractional, then we can choose between inches, feet, millimeters, centimeters, meters or point. I think meters is okay for this specific building. We are doing a kind of presentation of an architectural building. So meters in my case works perfectly. Maybe we don't need to show the unit. So in case that we want to repeat this dimension style into another dimensions, we have a very good option going here to the upper bar again and hitting this eyedropper called style. One click on here. Then let's steal this style of this dimension. One click on here. The paint bucket is active now and ready to be used. And I will hit them on this another dimension because I don't want the unit, the meters, visible here. So one click on here and we repeat the style of the original. Again, the same here and here we are. As you can see, this is super good in order to be very fast. Imagine now that we have this situation with this stairs and we decide that we want our dimensions in a more higher position of the paper because we don't want them to cross along these stairs, right? So first of all, space key, I will select these three dimensions and I will unselect the viewport. Then I will delete the three of them. I will select these three dimensions, which are good. And then if I hover over the line, these arrows will appear. Click and drag, I pull up, and I can change easily the position and the height of this dimension. Release, one click outside, and here we are. Let's finish now this side of the building. So again, dimension tool. Again, I go to the end point of that dimension. The double click now is not working because I did that change just before. So I have to repeat this same process with three clicks. And then now if I scroll out, I go to the next point, double click. The rapid method is working perfectly. The next end point is placed here, double click. Here the double click is not working. Anyways, when it's not working, we need to do it manually. So one click on here, I scroll out, second click, scroll out and third click. Finally, double click here. Now it's working good. Let's do it in this another side of the building. One click here, second click here. Look, because we don't find that green point. So we have to use the red one. Second click, third click. From here, double click. And from here, double click. When this double click is not working, we have to do it manually. It's not a big problem. And now it's a matter to give some style to these new dimensions of this side of the building. So I will select this one. Look, because the option is this one above and aligned. And this time, maybe we can use center and perpendicular. One click outside. It looks OK. So again, the eyedropper, one click and we apply these changes on this another dimension. Finally, another remarkable thing about this panel, and I will select again this dimension group, is this option called extension lines. These extension lines are these ones from our object to our dimension, and layout offers us two options, gap and length. Both of them you have to understand that are working at the same time. So if we active length, it means that the length of our extension lines, the maximum length is this one. We can change it and say that we want five millimeters, for example, and then look this dimension, this specific dimension. Now the start and the end is just five millimeters. If you are wondering why this line is still so long, is because of this another dimension. If I delete it, then we can find that the start and the end extension line is five millimeters long. On the other hand, we can play with the gap. I will select this time this another dimension. Here the gap is 3.175 millimeters and the length is 95.797 millimeters. So to understand the gap, I will scroll in and we will see how our extension lines before touching the point of the building have this gap. I will click out 
and we will see it better, we have this gap, it is very likely that we don't want those extension lines to go across our building. Anyways, in this case, in this specific project and this specific layout, I don't like long extension lines, so I will use the 5 mm length for all of the dimensions. First, I will draw this missing dimension and then eyedropper and let's use this style for all of the dimensions placed on the right side of the building and then here for this another side I should not use it because then the text is perpendicular right so control set I will select this dimension length 5 millimeters now again eyedropper and I can copy the style easily in all the rest. I could even select all the dimensions, hover over the line till I get these arrows and then click and drag and say that I want my dimensions placed here. One click outside and here we are. Take in mind that, as I told you, layout is snapping to the points of SketchUp. So if we change any object of our SketchUp model, when we refresh in layout our paper document, the dimensions will have changed as well. Anyways, once we are happy with the result, we will save our file, file save. Time to say goodbye now. And in the next episode, we will see how to include labels and callouts in our paper document.